All right, let's go ahead and begin on page 11 tonight. Heavenly Father, you gave Israel Tehillim, the Psalms 95 to 99, speaking of Mashiach's reign. O oh, Yeshabbat, the whole earth, the age of the resurrection, then the earth will be restored, and all the nations will worship you in your shalim, your holy city. Until then, maintain this hope in us, your bright and mixed multitude, Jews and Gentiles alike, so that we may be purified, because the time is near. And we get that from 1 John chapter 3, those who hold this hope in them are, in them themselves are pure as he is pure. Father, we're just going to lift up tonight these psalms to you. Lord, we pray that you make these psalms, the world they describe, true in the very near future, in our days, in our times. Amen. Please me wrote, please me wrote, Nari hello. Please me wrote, please me wrote, Nari hello. Ki el gadol Adonai, Umelik gadol al ko Elohim. Asher biyado mekare aret, Fato afotarim lo. In English, we'll read the English night for anyone who might be watching on the internet. Come, let's sing to Anai, shout to the rock of our salvation. Let us sit, come before him with thanksgiving. With songs, shout to him, for a great God is Anai, and a great king above all gods, who in his hand are the depths of the earth, and the peaks of the mountains are his. The sea is his, he made it, and the hand, his hands form the dry land. Come, let's be, worship and bow down. Let us kneel before Anai, our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture. The flock of his hand, today if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as in the days of his son in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me, even though they'd seen, uh, I'm sorry, uh, when your fathers tested me, they challenged me, even though they had seen my work. For 40 years I loathed that generation and said of people whose heart, whose heart goes astray, they do not know my ways. So I swore my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Page 14. Sing to a new song. Sing to a all the earth. Sing to Anai, bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the go Goim, his marvelous deeds among all peoples, for Adonai is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all Elohim, for all the gods of the peoples are idols, but Adonai made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Proclaim to Adonai, O families of peoples. Ascribe to Adonai glory and strength. Ascribe to Adonai the glory of his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Bow to Adonai in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, Adonai reigns. The world is firmly established. It will not move. He will judge the peoples with fairness. Page 15. Yismechu HaShamayim Yismechu HaShamayim Yismechu HaShamayim V'tagel ha'aretz Yismechu HaShamayim Yismechu HaShamayim Yismechu HaShamayim V'tagel ha'aretz Yerim ha'yam Yerim ha'yam Yerim ha'yam, ulalo o. Yerim ha'yam, Yerim ha'yam, Yerim ha'yam, ulalo o. Let us rejoice, heavens! Let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the land exult and all that is in it. Then all the trees of the forest will sing for joy before our night, for He is coming. He is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples in His truth. Lift your eyes, keep on, 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 keep let me ask you something. It says to proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Earlier this week, I gave a teaching about this, actually. Um, not this verse, but a similar idea. I said the way we think about God shapes what we're able to receive from him. And so uh, here's a question I asked. I want to ask you this. 
When I ask you for a word that describes God, what is the first word that comes to mind? Forgiveness. Forgiveness? For me, it's holy and good, kind of at the same time. Um, I think very often those words shape how we see him, and then the question becomes, what other words can be added to our vocabulary? Because that also shifts the way we see him. And so, Father, I think, I pray that we just think about you correctly, and that when we see verses like declare his salvation from day to day, his glory among the goyim, his marvelous seas among all peoples, and that we sing to you and bless you, Lord, I pray that we do so in a spirit of truth, in spirit and in truth. And I reign, let the earth rejoice, let be glad the many islands. Clouds and darkness envelop him, righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries on every side. His lightning lights of the world, the earth sees and trembles, the mountains melt like wax, the presence of Adonai, the presence of the Lord of all the earth. Let him declare his righteousness and all the peoples have seen his glory. Let all who serve graven images be ashamed, who boast in idols. Bow down before him, all you gods, and Zealand hears and is glad, and the daughters of Yehuda rejoice because of your judgment, Adonai. For you, Adonai, are the most high above all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. You who love Adonai hate evil. You watch over the souls of his godly ones. He delivers them out of the hands of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice, you righteous ones, in Adonai, and praise his holy name. O horzari the tati, kush you live, sim kaha, sim kus, ati give Adonai, vodu, the tati Page 17, Psalm 98. Mis morshil Adonai, shio chadahash. Sing to Adonai a new psalm. For he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have won victory for him. Read with me. Adonai has made his salvation known. He has revealed his righteousness before the eyes of the nations. He has remembered his loving kindness, his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout joyfully to Adonai, all the earth. Break forth, sing for joy, and sing praises. Sing praises to Adonai with the harp, and with the harp of, and a voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the shofar, blast a sound before the king, Adonai. Let the sea roar and all within it, the world and all those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, let the mountains sing for joy together. Before Adonai, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with fairness. And does that seem strange to any of us that we should take comfort in the fact that God is going to judge the earth? He has to, brother. He has to. Uh, sin must be answered. Yeah. Now, you go back to the parable of the righteous judge and the widow. Now, he, yeah, he can ignore her, but it, but it had to be answered. Yeah. And I, 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 I like the way C.S. Lewis frames it. He says, you know, in the New Testament, we have this paradigm where we are the ones on trial. And he says, and that's the wiser of the two views, where we're hoping for mercy because we know that we stand in the guilty. But here, what David is saying is he's standing as the juror. And he's looking at someone who's guilty and who deserves the guilt. And he is hoping for justice because he's also the defendant. And so what we're hoping for here isn't wrath and revenge, but it is justice. Um, and so a responsible way, I think, that we can pray between these two worlds is to pray for those who can receive truth, that can be saved, that to pray that they do receive. And if they cannot, if their mind is truly reprobate, then that the Lord bring justice. I think that's a wise, kind of balanced way of seeing it. Because I see a lot of wickedness in the world, and very often I don't pray anymore for mercy. I pray for justice. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, scripture does say to bless your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Um, but I definitely don't pray against people. I do pray against the sin and the institutions I see. Taylor 99. And I reign, so let the peoples tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth shake. And I is great in Zion, and he is exalted above all the peoples. 
Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is he. The might of a king loves justice, and you've established fairness. You execute justice and righteousness in Yehovah. Exalt and I our God, and worship at his holy foot, at his foot, foot soul. Holy is he. Moshe and Aaron were among his Kohanim, also Shmuel among those calling on his name. They called on Anai, and he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the decree that he gave them. Anai, our God, you answered them. A forgiving God, you worked them, though you avenged their misdeeds. Exalt Anai, our God, and worship at his holy hill, for holy is Anai, our God. And in Hebrew, Romil Adonai Eloheinu, Fishtakavu Lahar Kacho, Kikadosh Adonai Eloheinu. Isn't God holy and he is good? Mizmor le David, Mizmor le David, Habu Adonai Bene Elim, Habu Adonai Kavoshos, Habu Adonai Kavoshamo, Ishtak Kavu Adonai Behadra Kodesh, Kol Adonai Amayim, El Hakavot Irim. Adonai, oh, my Rabim. Kol Adonai, Bahoak. Kol Adonai, Behadak. Kol Adonai, Shaver Arazim. Ba Shaver Adonai, Ed Harze Havanon. Ba Yarkidem Kimo Egel. Live on own Visirion, come over, come over, me. Next page. Kol Adonai Kotev Havotesh, Kol Adonai Yakil Mipahaya, Yakil Adonai Made Bar Kadesh, Kol Adonai Yachal Yalog. Baya Chasov Ya Aro Ube Kolo Kulo Omer Kavod Kulo Omer Kavod Adonai Lama Vob Yashav Baya Shev Adonai Melek Lilam Adonai Oz Laam O Yitain Adonai Yefarek et Amova Shalom. Let's sing that. Let's read that together. Jimmy, would you like to read us, lead us in this one tonight? A song of David? Uh, oh. Sorry, on page 19. Uh, uh, uh. Ascribe to Ananias, O son of God. Ascribe. Go ahead. I'm reading along with you. Ascribe to Ananias. And I glory and strength. Ascribe to Ananias the glory of his name. Bow down to Ananias in the beauty of holiness. The voice of Ananias is over the waters. The glory, the, the, the God of glory, thunders. Ananias is over mighty waters. The voice of Ananias is powerful. The voice of Ananias is full of majesty. What's the greatest peace out there? The peace of God. Amen. Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. 
Lecha Dodi. Let's just sing this chorus together and then we'll move on. We'll sing it twice. Lecha Dodi, Lecha Kala, Pane Shabbat Ne Kabbalah. Lecha Dodi, Lecha Kala, Pane Shabbat Ne Kabbalah. Come, let's come, my beloved, to meet the bride. Let's welcome the presence of the Sabbath. Amen. Psalm 92. Yes, Psalm 92. Mees more she here, mees more she here, share the Yom HaShabbat. Mees more she here, mees more she here, share the Yom HaShabbat. Tahov lahodot ladonai, ozamer lishimcha el yon. Lahagid babu ker chasadecha, ve emunatecha baha lehelot. Read it with me. A psalm, a psalm for the day of Shabbat. It is good to praise on I and to make music to your name, Most High, to declare your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. With a ten-stringed harp, with resounding music on the lyre, for you made me glad, Adonai, by your deeds. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. How great are your works, Adonai! How profound are your thoughts! A British man doesn't know this, nor does a fool understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass and all evildoers flourish, it is only to be ruined forever. But you, Adonai, are exalted forever. For behold, your enemies are nigh, behold, your enemies perish, all evildoers scattered. But you have exalted my horn like that of the wild ox, I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes can gaze on those lying in wait for me, my ears hear about evildoers rising up against me. Amen. Page 26. <laughs> O de nuvu hun be seva, de shinim bran hanim, ye he 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 hu 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 le ha 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 geed, ye a shara donai so ho hurry, bolo of la ha ta ha bo. We'll come back to that page in a few minutes. I want to talk about that in a little bit. Page 27, Psalm 93. And I malak up geut la vehesh. And I reigned, he is robed in majesty. And I has robed and armed himself with strength, yes, the world is firmly established, unshakable. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up out of night. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their crashing waves. More than the sounds of many waters. More majestic than the breakers of the sea. So majestic is Adonai on high. Your testimonies are certain. Your testimonies are very sure. Your house is adorned with holiness. Adonai for endless days. Let's talk about this. Sadi Katmar from Psalm 92. Like a cedar in Lebanon, he will grow, planted in the house of Anai, the courts of our God, they will flourish. What do we mean by Bavet Adonai? What is? What is that word bait? I know you know it. Yeah, it's house. Um, house. Guys, I want to take some time to point out something. There are many different interpretations of that word house. We could be talking about the future millennial reign, the era of Messiah. We could be talking about the temple. Let me give you my interpretation tonight. We're talking about the house of God. There is a morning chant that goes like this, happy are we and happy is our heritage, who rise up and declare the oneness of, the, uh, the oneness of God. Uh, but it's those who rise up early, they're in prayer, and they're in the prayer house, and they're with other believers praying constantly. And I just want to say that people who dedicate themselves to prayer, we flourish in the household and the people of God. And so it says something to me a lot. It says a lot to us for the few of us who are here tonight. Um, this is what it means to be in the presence of God and we're just reading scripture. There is a manifestation of God that can only be reached through the reading of scripture. There's only a, there's only there's a certain manifestation that can only be reached in praying in unity. So, Father, before we go into the Sema'ariv portion, we are praying, Lord, 
we are praying that we read about an ideal time in the scriptures here. Psalm 75 through 99, then Psalm 29, Psalm 92, and then Psalm 93. Lord, are we reading about an ideal time? Lord, we're praying that you bring it about quickly. An era of justice in our time. Even now, Father, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we are praying that this Shabbat we get to see your kingdom break through even more than it was here today or yesterday or the day before. Father, we're praying that heaven continue to take over this earth, this community, this city, this nation, this state, this continent, this hemisphere, this world. Father, please don't let us just read these words. Help us have faith, Lord, and to take these words and internalize them. Lord, help us to understand that one day you will judge the earth, and it will be awful. And I mean that in both ways, Lord. Full of awe, it'll be awe-inspiring for the believers, and for those who do not know you, Lord, it really will be, the modern sense of the word, awful. Father, we pray for those who can be saved, for those who can be reached, Lord, those who do not know you yet. Father, we're praying that they submit themselves to your kingdom. And Lord, let this Shabbat be a worthy picture, and the way we celebrate and worship be a picture of the era that is coming. Father, we pray that you bring more people through our door, Father, who will submit themselves to the yoke of the kingdom of heaven. Father, help us to be fully submitted to that yoke of Yeshua Messiah. Thank you that we get to have a house of prayer, Father. I pray that it continues to grow and flourish as you design and design it for. Father, we're praying for a spirit of prayer and seriousness about the word of God to take over the congregation. Lord, how beautiful is it that we get to come together and just read scripture every single week and every single day. Lord, I pray that we get to take that pleasure very seriously. Lord, I am praying for the Messianic and beyond. Lord, we're praying that you grow it. And Lord, help us to have a serious impact for the kingdom that will last into eternity, disproportionate for the size of this congregation. Of course, we're praying for more, Lord, but we're praying, Father, that you make us effective for your kingdom, Lord. Let what happened here matter for eternity. All for your eternal praise and glory. In your name, amen. If anyone else wants to pray right now, they may. If anyone has a prayer for us, if not, we'll just continue on. We're praying for souls, Lord. We're praying for souls. We're praying for mature leaders in this congregation, Father. And we're praying for people who just radically love you. And Lord, thank you for the people that are here. And Lord, thank you for the people that are taking it seriously. And Father, we just pray that you bless them and that you increase their spiritual territory in this place. In the name of Amen. Baruch Adonai Elohim HaKolam. I'm sorry, I'm going to page 32. Baruch Adonai Elohim HaKolam Asher Bivaro Ma'ariv Aravim. Bless are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, that your word brings on the evening twilight. And with wisdom, you open the gates of the heavens, and with understanding, change times and vary the seasons, and arrange our stars and the watches according to your will. You create day and night, you roll away light from before the darkness, and the darkness from before the light. You make the day to pass, the night to approach, and divide the day from the night. Adonai Sevo Oetz is your name, the God living and enduring continually. May you reign over us forever and ever. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening twilight. Page 33. As with love and everlasting, you've loved the house of Israel, your people, Torah, and its votes, statutes, and judgments you have taught us. Therefore, O Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we arise, we will meditate on your statutes. We will rejoice in the words of your Torah and in your mitzvot forever, for they are the life, the life and length of our days. And we will meditate on them day and night. 
Mahaptecha, Atasir, Mimi, Leila, Hamayim, Arachata, Adonai, oh hey, Hamo, Yisrael. May you never take away your love from us, bless are you, Adonai, who loves your people, Israel. Let's do the Shema, and then we'll probably go a little bit skimpy on the some of the prayers tonight. Um, so. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. As you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, there will be these words which I have been this day are to be on your heart, teach them to your children. Speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, when you rise up. Find them as a sign on your hand, when they as to feel them between your eyes, and mark them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Maybe the next two days silently. And I know your God is true. We'll go ahead and just do this one in English. Who is like you among the gods, and I, who is like you, glorious and holiness, awesome and praises, doing wonders. The children saw your kingdom when they emerged from the sea and formed Moshe. This is, our, this is our God, they said, and I will reign forever and ever. The Hoskivenu. Ashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Vashalom Rahamidenu Makenu Lechayim Lies down on Adonai, our God of peace, and raises up our King with life. Spread over us your Sukkah of peace, direct us aright with your good counsel that is good, save us for your name's sake, be a shield about us, remove from us every enemy, pestilence, sword, famine, and sorrow. Also remove the adversary from before us and behind us, shelter us beneath the shadow of your wing, for you, O God, are the our guardian, our deliverer. You, O God, are a gracious and merciful King. Who is born to the new, who is new, who is the 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 new, We'll just do this one in English. Um, actually, we'll do the we'll do the first line or so in Hebrew. Vishamru vene Yisrael et hashabahat la asot et hashabahat la dorotam barit olam. So vene Yisrael is to keep the Shabbat to observe the Shabbat throughout all their generations as a perpetual covenant. It's a sign between me and vene Yisrael for in six days and I made the heaven and earth. And on the seventh day. You ceased from work and rested. Amen. I want to try something a little bit different tonight. Um, I had this idea while we were reading the Psalms together. We don't usually do this, but let's do it. Let's read um, the Amidah out loud in English. Now I'll read it. You can just read along with me quietly beneath your breath. Um, let's do it. 
When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Amen, I tell you, they have their reward in full. But you, when you pray, go into your new room, and when you have shut the door, pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret shall reward you. And I would do not pray very pretentiously. Said who prays, your son told us, privately not to be seen by others, only desiring an audience with you. We do not pray lightly, nor do we pray along. Said, let our words be few. Amen. And I open my mouth, my lips, so that my mouth may praise you. Let's do the precepts back. Precepts forward. Let's hear you, God, and our God, and God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Yaakov, the great, mighty, and revered God, the most high God who bestows kindness to the creator of all things, who remembers the good deeds of the patriarchs, and love who will bring the Redeemer to their children's children for your name's sake. Helper, King, Helper, Savior, and Shield, blessed are you, O Lord. Our, uh, Protector of Abraham. Abraham. You and I are mighty forever. You revive the dead. You have power to save. He makes the wind blow and the dew fall. You sustain the living with loving kindness. You will resurrect the dead with great mercy. You will support the fallen, heal the sick, set free the bound, and keep faith those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, O doer of mighty acts? Who resembles you? A ruler who puts death, restores life, and causes salvation to flourish. You are faithful to raise the dead. Blessed are you and I who raise the dead. You are holy, your name is holy, and holy beings praise you daily, Selah. Blessed are you, the holy God. I'm sorry, the holy. You have sanctified this the seventh day for your name's sake. It is the ultimate of the works of heaven and earth, and you praised it in uh, all the other days and sanctified it from all other seasons, as is written in your Torah. The heavens and the earth and all their hosts were finished, and God completed on the seventh day all the works of his formation, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. For on it, God rested from all the work of creation and compassion. Our God and God of our ancestors, be pleased with our rest. Sanctify us with your mitzvot, your commandments. Give us a share in your Torah. Satiate us with your bounty and let us in your salvation. Cleanse our hearts, serve you in truth. Bless and hear, O Adonai, our God, and love and favor your holy Shabbat. May Israel, who loves your name, rest thereon. Bless are you, O Adonai, who sanctify the Shabbat. Be pleased, O Adonai, our God, with your people in Israel and with your prayers. Restore the service of the inner sanctuary. Of your temple and receive in love and favor both the fire offerings of Israel and their prayers. May the worship of your people, Israel, always be acceptable to you. And let our eyes behold your return and mercy to Zion. Blessed are you, Adonai, who restores the divine presence to Zion. We give thanks to you, you are, that you are Adonai, our God, and the God of our ancestors forever and ever. Through every generation, you have been the rock of our lives, the shield of our salvation. We will give you thanks and declare your praise for our lives that are committed to your hands, for our souls that are entrusted to you, and for your miracles. That are daily with us and for your wonders and your benefits which are ever present always evening morning and noon you are all good whose mercies never fail you merciful one whose loving kindness never ceases we will always hope in you always ask may your name be blessed and exalted continually O our sovereign forever and ever let everything living thing give thanks to you selah and praise your name in truth O god our salvation and our help what's are you Adonai, whose name is the most beneficent one and to whom it is fitting to give thanks. Give abundant peace to your uh, to Israel, your people, for you are the supreme ruler of all peace, and it is good in your eyes to bless us and bless your people Israel at every time and every hour with peace. Praise to you, Eternal, who blesses the people of Israel with peace. My God, keep my tongue and my lips from speaking deceit, and to them that curse me, let my soul be silent and like dust to all. Open my heart to your Torah and to your commandments, so I can pursue them. As for those who think evil, they extremely thwart their counsel and destroy their plots. Do this for your name's sake, do this for your right hand's sake, do this for your Torah's sake, do this for your holiness' sake. That your beloved ones may rejoice. Let your right hand bring on help and answer me. In the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in your sight, O Eternal, my Rock, my Redeemer. The Maker, may the maker of perfection in the highest places, He will be the Maker of well being for us and for all Israel. Let's say Amen. Or as it's always put, O say shalom be mamal, who got say shalom alayni, they have called Israel be amen. May it be with uh, may it be with desire before you, eternal our God and God our ancestors, that the building of the temple will be speedily built in our days, and gives uh, our portion in your Torah. And there we will serve you in awe as the days of old and years gone by. We will come close to God with the offerings of Yehuda and Yerushalayim, as in the days of old and years gone by. Amen. We'll go ahead and end with the Lord's Prayer, but also as the Disciples' Prayer. 
Many of my same Jews believe Yeshua's prayer in Matthew 6 and Luke 11 was meant to follow the Amidah. We have combined the two texts, first with Luke 11, signifying it went after the prayer, and then next from Matthew, the slightly longer prayer. Now, Yeshua was praying in a certain place when he finished one of his disciples uh, said to him, Master, teach us to pray, just as uh, John taught his disciples. Then Yeshua said to them, When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, sanctify be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, and we forgive our debtors. And he's not to temptation to us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. But if you don't mind, but all right, we call Swa Alam by Kali by Yomashi, Mulakto. I share a saw by Spoken Yomashi, Nikolakto. I share a saw by Rekit Elohim at Yomashi, like a nation of Toki Mo, Shabbat Nikolakto. I share by Raha Elohim, Raha Sot. So the heavens and the earth were complete along with their entire host. God completed on the seventh day his work that he had made, and he ceased on the seventh day from all the work that he made. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, for on it he ceased from all the work that God created for the purpose of preparing. And that's the origin of Shabbat. Twigs are the long prayer, I'm sorry. Um, the Magain Avot, he was a shield to our forefathers with his word, and he will resurrect the dead by his bidding. The Holy God, there are none who are like him, who gives rest to his people on his holy Shabbat day, because he took pleasure in them to grant them rest. We will ever serve him with fear and awe. We will give thanks to your name constantly and daily in fitting forms of blessings. The Lord of peace, who hallows the Shabbat and blesses the seventh day, and in holiness gives rest to a people, stay with delight in remembrance of the creation. Our God and God of our fathers, accept our rest, sanctify us by your mitzvot, and grant us our portion in your Torah. Content us with your goodness, glad us with your salvation, purify our hearts to serve you in truth and in love and favor, Adonai our God. Let us inherit the Holy Shabbat. And may Israel, who hallows your name, rest thereon. Bless are you, Adonai, who hallows the Shabbat. Let's just go over to page 58. Bene Amar. Bene Amar, Bahaya Adonai, Lamelek Agaharet, Bayom Hahu, Bayom Hahu. Ye Adonai Echad Ushmoho 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 Echad And we said, and I will be king over all the earth. On that day, he will be one, and his name one. We'll just read the Yiddon in English. Magnifying praise be the living God. He is, and there is no limit in time to his being. He is one, and there is no unity like his unity. He is inconceivable, and his unity is unending. He has no bodily form nor substance. We can compare nothing to him in his holiness. He was before anything that has been created, even the first, but his existence had no beginning. Behold, he is the Lord of the universe to every creature. He teaches his greatness and his sovereignty. The rich gift of his prophecy he gave to the men of his choice in whom he gloried. There was never yet risen in Israel a prophet like Moshe, when he beheld his similitude. God gave the Torah of his truth to his people and his holy, uh, by the hand of his holy prophet who is faithful in his house. God will not alter nor change his Torah ever. It is eternal. He watches and knows our secret thoughts. He beheld the end of a thing before it existed. He bestows loving kindness upon a man according to his work. He gives to the wicked according to his wickedness. He will send our Mashiach at the end of days to redeem them that we fit the end to salvation. In the abundance of his loving kindness, God will resurrect the dead. Blessed forevermore be his glorious name. Amen. Let's go out and enjoy the Shabbat. Namely, by feasting and by resting. I will see you tomorrow. I hope it is a wonderful day of just being in his presence and reading scripture. You're dismissed. Vanessa, let's go home and be with our whippet. <laughs>